gosh, I am 32 weeks pregnant. That means we have less than eight weeks until her due date. It's crazy. And I feel like so much has happened in the last four weeks. I might need to be updating a little bit more often because this feels like a completely different pregnancy than it did four weeks ago. First, the most obvious change is this right here. The bump has gotten even bigger. Definitely a baby in there. <laughs> Also, not as fun of an update, but my stretch marks continue to grow in number, but they have stayed to my sides at least. I think that's a little bit better than if they were on my stomach because I feel like it's maybe a little bit less noticeable or easier to hide, I guess. Um, I have been using a new product for stretch marks. It's this stuff here. It was recommended to me by a friend who it like completely worked for her. She didn't get any. Um, I can't really say if it's working or not because I don't know how bad they would be without it. I will say that I'm not that great at using it every day. So I probably am not the best test subject anyways. Um, also, speaking of the bump. So we had an appointment yesterday where she said I was actually measuring at 30 weeks instead of 32 weeks. Um, she didn't seem too worried about it. She basically said, we'll just, you know, check at the next appointment. If you're still measuring behind, we'll probably send you for an ultrasound just to check on things. But it could very easily just be the position that she is in, um, not to worry too much. Of course. You know, I've had a really smooth pregnancy so far, so like anything that's not the norm is kind of making me worry. But I'm trying not to. She didn't seem too worried. I think if it was a big deal, she would have sent me for an ultrasound right away. And she also said like, just because like, since I'm only two weeks behind, um, you know, that's why she's waiting till next week or next appointment. Um, and if it was more than two weeks, she'd probably schedule it sooner, so. Yeah, I'll have to update on how that goes. Um, anyways, what has been happening? So, I would say the biggest difference that I've noticed is just the belly, like size. I can feel the weight of it. I definitely, I can feel like pressure in my ribs and in my hips. And when she moves, I can feel like the difference between a head and like an elbow or foot um, cause she's just getting bigger and it's not, the kicks aren't so much like little like twitches anymore, but actual like kicks and actual, like you can kind of feel like movement under your skin. And it's kind of weird, but it's cool because, um, like you can tell, like you can tell it's a real baby. It's not just something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, all of the things surrounding a big belly is kind of the main stuff, I guess that's different. Like things like bending over is harder. I feel like I'm carrying around extra weight. Oh my gosh, rolling over in the bed is like an event. Luckily, speaking of the bed, I have been sleeping still really well. Um, the way I like get comfortable, I still, I don't really use my pregnancy pillow. I bought it, but I honestly feel like it kind of it keeps me in one spot too much to where I'm actually more sore when I wake up. Um, excuse me. The way that I get comfortable is like I'm laying on my side, but I just kind of slightly roll onto my stomach, so that way my stomach's actually supported by the bed, um, but not like where I'm on top of it, and that's really comfortable for me. And you know I can just kind of roll from one side to the other in that same way. Uh, it just takes a while to actually roll over. Um, oh yeah, and I haven't been waking up to pee in the middle of the night. And I know that's a really common symptom and I'm like super happy that that hasn't happened to me. I do pee more throughout the day, but for some reason at night I can just like hold it better. Maybe because I'm laying and she's not right on my bladder with all that pressure. Um, I'm really hoping, knock on wood, that that does not change because I like sleep. 
Uh, what else? Heartburn. I was having a lot of heartburn before. Or indigestion. I mean, it was kind of... It was probably more indigestion than it was heartburn. Um, and it's gotten better. I've been taking Pepsid every day, twice a day. Even when I don't, like, feel the heartburn, I just take it every day, twice a day. And I think that's, like, what's been making it better because there was a day... Oh, it was yesterday that I, uh forgot to take it in the morning and I started getting it again like pretty much immediately so that's helped a lot um I've had a, a bit of a more embarrassing symptom that's popped up in the last like week I got a hemorrhoid and I know that that could happen during pregnancy but I had honestly no idea what that was like I just got really itchy like down there at first I thought it might be a yeast infection but there's some other symptoms with the yeast infection that I wasn't having and the itch was more in the butt area than it was in the front area so I asked my doctor last time I went about it and she said any over-the-counter medication is fine like they'll go away on their own you just you know treat I guess the symptom and I actually haven't used a medication because I tried just taking like a warm bath with baking soda and ever since then it's been a lot better. In fact, today I didn't even hardly notice it at all. Um, so can you try baking soda first if you don't want to go out and buy the Preparation H. Um, what else? Oh, some other big things that have happened in the last four weeks. I, for one, am officially switching from my OB's office to a midwife. I am really, really excited about that. Um, we went and did a, like, a consult with the midwife last week just to meet her. And within like two minutes of talking to her, I already knew that I wanted to switch. Um, so I think this is the same across the board. My midwife, she's a nurse practitioner um, who then goes and gets further certification as a midwife and basically she was a nurse first and in my experience I really just prefer like the communication between like to a nurse than I do to a doctor I feel like they talk to you more they see you as like a person more and not just like a medical case not that all doctors are like that but just like a really generalized statement um and it's exactly how I felt when I met her, she just, she took her time with me. She already, the first thing she said was, just so you know, midwife appointments last, you know, longer than the OB appointments typically do. And I was like, well, that's actually good. Cause that's kind of been my number one complaint about my appointments. I feel like they just like go by so fast and I feel rushed and I don't feel like I get to ask all the questions I want to. And I just kind of leave like, um, feeling kind of like, oh, that was it. I don't know. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, what else? Oh, and we hired a doula, which was something I had been thinking of for a while. I just wasn't sure that Chris was on the same page as me on that. And I already knew when it came like today of that I only wanted Chris in the room. Like I didn't really want other family or other like friends or support or anything. He's just the person that I feel comfortable going through that experience with. And he doesn't feel comfortable being the only person there. So he was actually really interested in a doula as well because oh, I forget exactly how she put it, but it's exactly what I wanted is that she's not necessarily there to support me. I mean, she is, but her main role is to support Chris in supporting me. So I'll still get what I want. Like I'll still get Chris there as my main support he's gonna have someone there actually telling him the right things to do to support me because he doesn't know what he's doing either um so i'm really excited about that we had our third baby shower and we have seriously gotten so much stuff i mean we have a list of like just a few items left left to get so that's really excited we have so so many clothes and so many blankets some of that we actually have bought from yard sales. A uh, quick tip, if you're in yard sale season, like you should go and check them out because 
a lot of the stuff people sell at yard sales is really gently used because you think, you know, the kids grow out of stuff so fast. Um, like some of the stuff I got was brand new in tags and I was getting it for 50 cents for like a nice piece of clothing. So I finally have taken some steps in setting up the nursery. I got all of her clothes washed. I got all of the like up to three months clothes put away in the closet and in the dresser and that's it that's all we've done but at least it's a step um, I've gotten all in her like all of the stuff we got from a shower I actually got organized kind of into piles in our living room which is a total mess right now um, but yeah we're we're at less than two months I, I'm getting a little bit stressed as far as not having things together the way that I want them um, but it'll come together. I don't, I think that two months is longer than I think that it is. And, uh, my mom is coming over to help paint this weekend. So we'll have probably by the end of next week, have the nursery painted. And I don't know when we'll have it completely put together. It kind of depends on my brother who is building us a crib right now. Well, he's supposed to be building us a crib right now. Which is very nice of him to do that for us, but he is pushing it to the last minute, stressing me out a little bit. Um, um, I guess that's it. I feel like I had more to update on, but those, that's some pretty big stuff. I will definitely be updating a little bit more often, especially after our next appointment when we kind of find out more about like the size thing. I'm trying really hard not to worry about it. Uh, it's going to all be fine, I'm sure. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates. All right, bye.